Hey, for the game later, can you pick up some finger food? Like chips and dip? Just take it out of petty cash. I already did, but there was only enough for one, so I got dip. You got dip without chips. What do we put in a dip? You said finger food. Fingers? Yep, I guess that's about our best option at this point. All agents, please don't give Agent 13 doggy treats without making him roll over or speak. You'll spoil him. Hello? Hey Dave, it's Brian. I'm at home sick today. Could you log on to my terminal real quick? Sure thing. What's your password? Brian. Your name is your password? Well, yeah, but it's spelled B-R-I-O-N. <laughs> Are you serious? That can be hacked in 11 nanoseconds. Uppercase N, and then lowercase E, smiley face, frowny face, laughing out loud face, and register trademark sign. That'll work. voicemail of General Office Building. Our office is currently closed because, again, we are just a typical office business. If you know your party's extension, enter it now and then explain to us how you got that intel. We only need to know for regular office reasons, nothing else. Please leave a message at the beep because we certainly haven't been recording you this whole time. Okay, truth or dare? Uh, truth. What is your favorite call to eavesdrop? Oh, that's easy. Relationship fights. The more emotional and heart-wrenching, the better. Interesting. You up for one more? Come on. Yeah, sure. What the heck? I'll, I'll try dare this time. Perfect. For the next 72 hours, I dare you to not listen to conversations I have with my wife. Has it been really obvious? We can hear you breathing on the phone. I'm sorry, man. I should have used a secure wiretap. And this is Max. He's in charge of our couples department. What does that entail? He's in charge of listening in on thousands of couples. Wow. Any good dating advice? Sure. Love is a sham and we all die alone. So that's Max. Uh, let me introduce you to literally anybody else. Say, Rob, do you ever think there are people out there listening in on our conversations? Are you asking if I think there's people eavesdropping on the eavesdroppers? Yeah, I guess. Wow, that's pretty meta. But there could be, right? I mean, sure. I guess there could be a group of people gathered in a room listening to our conversations at this very moment. But I find that hard to believe. That would mean this group of work associates or friends or family members would presumably have nothing better to do right now than to circle around and listen to our inane conversations. Yeah, I suppose that's a pretty silly thought. I mean, how pathetic would that group have to be? They could be enjoying each other's company, but instead they're actually listening to us. I guess you'd have to be a pretty pathetic group to do that. Exactly. They're the type of people I'd hate to be at a party with. I bet they're the type of party that puts out a veggie tray. A veggie tray. Yeah, and they probably have a pre-scheduled time for when the party ends. Well, it's 10 o'clock. Time to mosey on out. Oh, just thinking about a party like that bums me out. I'm sorry I ever brought it up. Me too. A group that would actually listen in on our dumb conversations? What losers? Hey, Warren, can you do me a huge favor? I'm not calling the State Department for you. Come on. I don't have an ex-girlfriend who works there. Why? I need an autographed headshot of Colin Powell circa 2002. It's for my niece. I already got her a Madeleine Albright. What is she, a collector? She's 15. It's a phase. It's her birthday. 
Fine, but you owe me three Pentagon favors, understood? I don't know anyone at the Pentagon. Make it happen. Hey, Sheila, what are you doing with those classified folders you're leaving the building with? It's not what you think. These are gap folders. See, it says classify. Yeah, because you crossed out classified and wrote that yourself with a Sharpie. I outrank you. I don't need to explain. Okay. See you later, Snowden. What's with the new vending machines? There's like 18 buttons to press for a soda. Oh, right. The soda's encrypted now. What? Come on! Data collection? No, we don't have Prince Albert McKee. Tom, I know it's you. Hey, you guys going to lunch soon? Yeah. You know, we should invite the new guy. We should. I can't remember his name, though. I can't either. I haven't met him yet. I think it was Chris. No. Something like Chris. Craig, Kyle, Crinkle. Kevin, Comfy, Quicksilver, Condoleezza, Conk, uh, uh, Quail Egg. Yeah. Go say, hey, Quail Egg, want to go to lunch? Corky, Condiment? Christmas. How about just Ooh. walking over and saying, hey, I'm Warren. I'm sorry, but I can't remember your name. Can you say Christmas, but sort of mutter it so he thinks you said his name? Sure. And if it's wrong, I'll just tell him Brian said that was his name. Right. Hey, Chris Dominan. I hate you guys. Reminder to all agents, the company picnic is this Friday. Oh, the time and location details are encrypted into algorithms piggybacking on spam emails from a server promoting hair loss therapy. We still need sporks. Attention agents, for anyone with lingering character traits from our intensive company production of A Streetcar Named Desire, mandatory deprogramming is at three, y'all. <coughs> um, yes. Did we ever get those results about whether cult members like chunky or smooth peanut butter? No, all of our field agents keep getting discovered and converted. Ugh, I'm just gonna say chunky then. Why does Susan always post these flyers for agency girls night? Does anyone ever go to them? Um, yeah, I went once. It was just me and Susan in a Nicholas Sparks movie marathon. No. What a nightmare. Breathe it in. How many movies did you have to- I don't want to talk about it. No, tell me. I don't want to talk about it. You know, the cameras picked up something really weird. Really? Yeah, it's behind a fast food joint. It's almost some sort of portal. A portal? Yeah, it's like some sort of swirling... I'm gonna stop you there. Is it possible it's like a dimensional rift? Maybe. Like a doorway to another dimension? I mean, it could be. I mean, I know that seems it's very unlikely. It seems very unlikely. Like, ridiculous. Kind of dumb. Like, not even worth talking about. Yeah, it's probably not. Really you wanna get lunch? Yeah. Ooh. A reminder to all agents, we have a camera on the coffee pot, so we know when you take the last cup and don't refill the pot. This is your final warning. I hear you.
To all agents, the break room refrigerator will be cleaned out on Friday. Please remove all personal items. This includes condiments, lunch containers, and the frozen Hitler brain. Thank you. I'm just saying that why don't we point all our satellites at the Pacific Northwest and we'll settle this once and for all. You want to use all of our satellite resources on finding Bigfoot? Yeah. That is the worst idea I've ever heard. We should be looking for Chupacabra. What? They pose a way bigger threat. Don't you care about Bigfoot? Don't you care about goats? Attention agents, just a gentle reminder that falling in love with those you observe is frowned upon. Continue to pine from afar. Hey, Dimitri, you watch The Americans? Um, yes, every day. That show is nuts. All the makeup and wigs and their whole wardrobe is crazy, right? I don't know. I look at metadata. I don't know from wigs and makeup. No, Dimitri, I, I know you watch Americans. I'm talking about THE Americans on TV. But there is always Americans on TV. Do all of them wear wigs now? No, I, it's a TV show. It's not average Americans walking down the street. Yes, this would be stupid. We see this already on the closed-circuit security camera. Do you even own a television? No, not since end of Seinfeld. Okie dokie. Good talking to you, Dimitri. Yes, good talk. We've used these two tiny surveillance microphones hundreds of times. So you swallow this one. Okay. And what about the other one? That one's a suppository. Or wait, is this the one you swallow and the other? Um, maybe you should go see our doctor. Three, two, one. Welcome to the government, where we are always watching everything you do. Then we put it all in a document and print it out for the president. Can you believe the president still wants printed documents? We usually use it for good, but we also use it to play... Espionage. Let's have some analytical fun. Okay, who's first? What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know. What percentage of people have joined the Mile High Club by themselves? Make it a good guess. You'll get more points the closer your guess is to the actual percentage. Time's a wasting. We have an answer. 50%. Okay, everyone else. Time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. If you think the guess is off by 15% or more, you can get double points by picking much higher or much lower. Everyone is saying lower. And Surveil says... got to be within 30% of the right answer to get points. Sorry, not sorry. Who said lower? Nice job. I've got some points for you. And what have we here? Great answer. Double points for saying much lower. Who's next? Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask why. What percentage of people have a collection of bath products they've taken from hotels? Twenty-seven 
20%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Unanimous again. And the correct answer is... 44%. It starts with tiny hotel shampoo bottles. Pretty soon it's packets of artificial sweetener. After that, I'm afraid there's no way back. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. Next up... I'm going to search for... What percentage of people currently have on their cars at least one bumper sticker? Everyone pick, higher or lower. And thank goodness, I changed my political allegiance based on their sage advice at least three times on the way in today. Who got it right? Here's some points! Okay, who's up next? Hi, Dad. Maybe this will turn you on. What percentage of people turn off all the lights in their homes when they go out just for a little while? Seventy percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? People are thinking it's lower. And Surveil says... 70%! Whoa, you got it right on the money. Better than that, you got it right on the eye of the pyramid on the back of the money. No points for anyone else. Next up... Let's see, what would be good? How about this? What percentage of people can fully arch their left and right eyebrows independently of each other? You're almost at 66%. Okay, higher or lower? Out of time. Most people said lower. Now let's get to the right answer. 42%! That may raise some eyebrows. Let's see who got it right. Well done, you get points. Who's next? I hear you. We've collected data about everything, even this. What percentage of people usually use washcloths to apply soap, not just the bar of soap itself? Thirty-eight 
36%. What do you all think? Higher or lower? Time's running out, higher or lower? <laughs> the majority say lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. 36%. You got the percentage exactly right. There was only a 3.2% chance of that, but you probably knew that too. Here, take all the points. Next up. All right, buckle in. I've got one for you. What percentage of people have visited cemeteries where nobody they knew was buried? Seven percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? Ooh. I hear you. Hi, Dad. Just one of you is saying higher, and the correct answer is seventy-three percent. I don't like cemeteries. All the people are beneath me. Who got it right? Ooh, points for you. Uh-oh, final round time. We faked dozens of focus groups to determine the most popular answers to this question. What one word do most people associate with the state of California? Now let's see the answers. But only the top three answers will get you points. Ready, go! All three of your picks. Let's see what answers you chose. Now let's take a look at the results. And the winner is... Push. Oh. Ooh, I do. Congratulations! You've won a game that should probably be illegal. I'm so proud of you. Good to see you again. I mean, we always see you, but you know what I mean. Time for more... Gespionage! Who's up first? Typey, typey. What percentage of people have split logs into firewood with axes? now we have an answer 30 percent everyone else now it's your turn do you think the correct answer is higher or lower you can also double down and guess much higher or much lower if you think the guess is off by 15 percent or more
looks like an even split. Okay, right answer is... 44%! Once we perfect the hidden axe handle camera, we should have more complete data on this one. Let's see who got it right. Nice job, I've got some points for you. As for you, ah, that's too bad. Double downs only count if the answer is off by 15% or more. Okay, who's up next? Hi, Dad! I don't know. How about... What percentage of people like their burgers cooked well done? percent Okay, higher or lower? Ooh, I hear you. Only one of you thinks it's higher. And the correct answer is... 13%. 13%, so it's pretty rare. Who got it right? Well done! You get points! Who's next? Okay, computer, what do you have for this one? What percentage of people usually request no ice in their water or soft drinks at restaurants? Five percent. All right, what do you think? I People are saying lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. Twenty percent. Like my grandmother always said, no ice, more scotch. Let's see who got it right. Smart, yes. Here's your points. Next up. Ooh, Ooh I remember seeing good surveillance for this yesterday. What percentage of people have used eggplant emojis in a sexually suggestive manner? Everyone pick, higher or lower. Unanimously higher. Now let's get to the right answer. 22%! I'm sorry, but how did this start? I've never heard anyone say, check out the eggplant on that guy. Got it right. Here's some points. Who's next? All right, I have a good one. What percentage of people choose not to subscribe to either cable or satellite TV? Twenty-two percent. Okay, higher or lower? Oh, I hear you. Hi, Dad. Running out of time. <laughs> Most of you are saying higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 
40%! What the hell do these people do? Read? Let's see who got it right. Ooh, points for you! Okay, who's up next? I hear you. I'll bet our database has some juicy data for this. What percentage of people over 40 have drunk chocolate milk within the last year? Eighteen percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? Most of you are saying higher. And Surveil says... 59%! Let's be honest, most of them were drinking in Sure. Who got it right? Nice job, I've got some points for you. Next up... Oh, this is gonna be good. What percentage of people have attended Renaissance fairs? 36%. Okay, higher or lower. One of you thinks it's higher. And the correct answer is... 47%! This one was a little hard to get through because my wife had a renaissance affair with a knight. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points! It's time for the final round. By hacking hundreds of cell phones, we found the most popular answers to this question. What's the best flavor of pie? Let's take a look at the board. You have three chances to pick the most popular answers on the board. Good luck! Okay, let's see what you picked. And what are the most popular answers? Who's my hero? Who's my hero? It's... I hear you. My dad. Oh, wow, you played this game like 87% of people wish they could. And only 21% of them could ever hope to.
What? Oh, sure, sure, we can play. Yeah, I wasn't busy or anything. I'm sensing a lot of repressed anger in this group, mostly from me. So everybody back off and let's start the game. This is round one. I'm going to beam two prompts to your device. Answer them however you choose. What you type goes up against what someone else types, and everyone votes on the winner. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go! Running out, use a safety quip if you need it. Time for the big reveal. Starting things off, terrible advice from a driver's ed instructor. Okay, everybody pick your favorite. Next on the list, a terrible name for a panini restaurant. It's voting time. Moving on, some solid life advice, never trust blank. Put in your votes. Next, the most important part of Canadian sex. Okay, vote. Next prompt, a rejected name for a Crayola color. Time to vote. Next in 
line, the kinkiest thing about 1800s pioneer sex. Ready, set, vote! is the worst part about dating a magician. Get to voting! That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. <laughs> Onward to round two. Remember, all points and bonuses are doubled. Running out, think fast, or use a safety clip. <laughs> cool, let's see what's what. Starting us off, you should always blank before you get married. Okay, pick your favorite and vote. Moving on, a terrible name for a yacht, the SS Blank. Vote now. Next one, a terrible trade you can make with the devil. You give him your soul for blank. Float away.
up. Something you should never say when pulled over by a small town sheriff. And vote. You should never find on a carousel. Vote on your devices. This player would definitely say blank. Okay, vote. One. What a lazy cowboy names his horse. Put in your votes. is also what a lazy quiplash player would type. You survived round two. Let's see if your scores did. Yeah. Round three, the last lash. Everybody's getting the same prompt, so don't hold back. Here is your word lash task. All right, here's the board. Okay, in round three, you get to award three medals, gold, silver, and bronze. Have at it.
Okay, let's see who got those medals. Bronze. Bring out the silver. And gold. Okay, let's change those medals into points. It's over. Let's see the final scores. Welcome to Trivia Night, an endless onslaught of devious torment, but without all the preachy morality of those other serial killers. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. And you can always be in the audience, it's just as deadly. Am I over explaining this? The last group was super dumb. Let's just get into it. Here's the first question. Here's a fun little tip if you're into DIY stuff. What type of acid is battery acid? Use your device to answer the question. Yeah. 
Goodbye for now. <laughs> and the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, you're in for a treat. Welcome to the killing floor. We're going to play chalices. I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Pick a chalice to put your poison in. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. It goes without saying, if you drink from a poison chalice, there are consequences. No pressure! Mmm. Hope it tasted good. Now let's see what everyone drank. Aww, no one drank any poison. It's a murder party. Not a, everybody's okay party. Gah. Here's everybody's score so far. Are scores important? If you crave external validation, then yeah. How about this? What musical featured the song, I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair? Let me ask you a question. Your answer is very important. Who was your favorite teacher in high school? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. gets to vote. I want you to pick the answer that you hate the most. The person who wrote the answer with the most votes will die. Pick the answer that makes you go, uh, no sir, no, I will have none of that. Just a right. It's a privilege. The votes are in. Personally, I kind of like it, but the people have spoken. No! And boo, you're a ghost. But keep playing, and I promise you can still win. I kind of wish I were a ghost. Ah, uh, someday. Here's that scoreboard again. I made it pretty clear what this was the first time, right? Ah, uh, I think I'm over explaining. I've got more questions for you. Where is Rihanna from? Surprise for you! I hope you like feudal exercises. Don't get all conscientious objector on me now. Spin 
spin, my lovely. Spin. Well, you had a fair shot. It just didn't work out. I'm really enjoying our chemistry so far. You guys are the Rory to my Lorelei. Next question. What river did Caesar famously cross to start a war? And the correct answer is... This one? <laughs> Everyone is wrong! Let's play a game! It's time for some finger cutting. No one has to die in this one. Unless you refuse to participate. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. End of instructions. Go for it! Come on, you don't need all those fingers. <sighs> Looks like my puppies are eating well tonight. Let's try another one. <laughs> okay, here's a funny question about one of my hobbies. Around which temperature does steel start to melt? said this only a ghost got it wrong hmm, too easy <laughs> all right next question i mean the answer is pretty obvious but what's the cutest name for a hamster This. Let's go someplace fun. Isn't it about time for some fighting? You can attack someone else. You can defend yourself. Or you can grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I will still punish someone. Now go say hello to some people with your fists. I love to watch you squirm, but I also love it when you pick something. <laughs> this is going to look so good on my murder wall. So much stabbing. Those cuts don't look serious. Serious enough. <laughs> Your friends sure don't like you very much. All right, next question. How many faces does a dodecahedron have? Ah! Yeah. 
This piece of art has blood all over it. I think I'm using the wrong type of lid for this jar of blood. I really need to get out all the lids and match them, but that's gonna take like a whole afternoon. Memorize the pattern of blood. Okay, you've had long enough. I've got the worst memory ever. I've buried so many bodies in this basement, and I could not begin to tell you where they are. I mean, I used to mark each spot with like a popsicle stick or a little flag. Then I got on this cleaning habit, and I swept everything up. But then I was like, darn it! All that stuff was there for a reason. Ugh. Anyway. Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. The person who is furthest from the pattern will die. Almost out of time. Here's that arc again, and here's what you did. The queen has risen to the top and left behind you. Here's another one. What's the name of the ring the Pope wears? answer is... this one? <laughs> Everyone is wrong! Prepare for your punishment! I want to play a dice game! I'll go first! Four! Now I need an assistant! You'll do! In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? You can make it as hard or as easy as you want! Come on, pick! You're annoying me! Okay, fine, whatever. I guess I have to do everything around here. Roll lower than me or you die. Oh, crap. Everybody's dead. I need somebody alive for the final round. Okay, then. I don't want to hear any complaints about not bringing everyone back to life, okay? Anyway, back to business. Well, look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Countries containing the Alps. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Time 
today, kiddo. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. Aww, you have to get answers right to get closer to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Too slow! So sad. 